Eruption on Osef Rio. The 507th Fleet's planetary toll barriers are powered by a super duper titanium coated hypermassive generator. In order to compensate for its propensity to overheat, it has been installed on planet Osef Rio, an icy planet with a wind chill of negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit and twice as cold after dark. The generator is heavily guarded by automated top of the line sentry cannons primed to fire homing plasma bolts at anything that moves. And with the atmosphere being too cold for starfighter thrusters to function, you'll have to get there on foot from the drop point. Once there, unload your explosive ordnance onto the generator until the structure gives out. For this mission, you are equipped with beanbag detonators, loaded with compressed circus level pyrotechnics, strong enough to pierce the armor and damage the engine beyond repair. Then, you must rendezvous at the extraction point before night falls. Best of luck, space buffoon. We're all counting on you. I was flying my ship. I was escaping with the Gribbly Grooves on board, if y'all remember. We received a transmission from Orange Fixer, who is a old friend of Captain Gotabura and Professor Andrew. He told me all his ideas to get rid of the nefarious 507 fleet. So these are our, our plans. Currently we are on planet Asefrio. And then next we are going to planet Gato Verde. With, with the last mission being more to find a world for the Gribbly Grooves. Uh, Orange Fixer pointed out that we absolutely had to get rid of the uh, the, the hyper generator to get rid of the, the the barrier toll gates and he didn't know with what kind of weaponry we could do that and I conveniently <laughs> had a beanbag detonator and I don't know where I got it from or how I made it but it was there studied it and after having studied it, he devised our plan for the night. To walk to the generator, to remain undetected by the cannons, and then destroy the generator with the endless supply of beanbag detonators. However, we wouldn't be able to fly a bottle cap starfighter in this atmosphere, so we are taking his super uh, navigator snow cruiser in order to, to get through the get into this atmosphere pick me up drop me off drop me off and pick me up there we entered the rough cold atmosphere of Asefrio the gate opened looked for the landing spot jumped out Then, after walking for what seemed to be like hours, it was just too cold. It was too much to handle. I felt myself losing consciousness, becoming weaker. I couldn't take it anymore, and I passed out. In my mind, I heard voices telling me they believed in me and that they knew that I get through this, and that I had to continue, and I had to wake up right now. And I didn't think I could until I felt felt something inside me. I felt a, a very familiar warmth, and it kind of a I felt I felt a bit a bit uh, swirly and and warm. And oh. Just like when I had the birthday magic. No. Because I was being cooked. I was being <laughs> cooked. <laughs> Over a fire. <laughs> oh, I asked Franks to exit sleep mode. <laughs> Franks, you gotta, you gotta save me. And luckily, Franks was able to exit the sleep mode. And he did a big enough racket 
that it, it caused the creatures that were cooking me to stop. And they were very enamored by Pranks' design. They went up to Pranks and picked him up, made him a little crown, and did dances around him. And then I asked Pranks to get them to, uh, to release me from the log. <laughs> I was like, oh, hello, little creatures. Oh, oh, it's a boog log. These little boog logs, they're, they're friendly. They just thought I was dead or something and they were going to eat me. <laughs> me and how you, you just kind of <laughs> bomb the, the boog logs. I made friends with the boog logs. And they did a little dance and they fed me soup with a twig in it. Twig soup. <laughs> they made Franks a crown. And then they showed me this this sacred purple ice. And it all became clear to me why they were so enamored by Franks. Franks having that the purple color and being a you know, the screen looking like a crystal. They thought Franks was also kind of like the purple ice. However I could tell their purple ice was melting. It was because of the generator causing too much heat. They were so sad. They were losing their sacred purple ice. So I vowed, get back up, get out there, and resume my search for the generator. So I did. And I, after a while, we finally made it. It seemed like we weren't going to make it, but we did. Thanks to everybody, everybody in, in chat. Y'all helped, helped me stay strong and finish the journey and we reached the generator prepared myself throw my bombs at the generator Ooh. I was doing my best however the best was not enough the generator had a reverberator shield and it just reflected the shockwave back at me it did not take damage I was a little disillusioned. What was it? It did all this. It got here, but it's still not enough. I couldn't do it. I threw bombs at it, but it wasn't enough to break through the reverberator shield. And, uh, Booglog, what are you doing? A little Booglog stole some bombs. In fact, they all did. They took the bombs, and they rushed at the generator. I don't know if you could see them. Yahoo! <laughs> Booglogs, no! <laughs> what are you doing? This is dangerous! And the Booglogs, together, in tandem, dropped the bombs on the generator, causing it to explode. And that's when I understood the reverberator shield was able to repel one source of damage, but multiple tandem source, sources of explosions caused it to fall apart. It exploded. It shielded the booglogs the best I could. And the generator was no more. An orange fixer came around to pick me up. I was exhausted. So I sat down in the ship. My body was so cold. The pranks kept me. But with that, everybody, here comes the last bit of lore. I want to say, I'm so happy. I'm so happy everybody is here and 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 all kept me company with this. And, and I love your kind words about these types of streams. I really just appreciate everybody here and the support you've given me. The Booglogs are here to stay. There, that's the raid message. <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! Alright. Play us out. <laughs>